Well, welcome back to the show. Very special guest this morning as we kick off our some more sort of introduction to Mardi Gras this week. Thais Ardito, Queen. Thais Ardito. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm wonderful. I'm so glad you're on this morning to kick our week off. And uh, thank you for stopping by because I know you have such a busy schedule coming up. We're glad. I'm glad to be here. And uh, well, first of all, I just want to say, you know, what, what, how does it feel to be queen this year? Oh, it, it's exciting. It's busy. Um, it's crazy, actually, but it's fun. <laughs> And speaking of busy, it seems like, you know, you're going to be here this morning, and then from there on, it's, it's just booked up, right? We're booked. Actually, yes, we start our visits last week, and we're booked up through Fat Tuesday. And I think by the time we get done, we will have covered probably 20 area schools of northeast Louisiana and about 20 assisted living and nursing home facilities. Tell me about what y'all are doing in those schools. Well, we, we're visiting the, uh, the schools. Um, of course, we like the, the children to ask us questions, and they have the cutest questions. But our main thing with the kids is talking about parade safety to them because they get, you know, it's all exciting and fun, and, but we're talking to them about making sure that they're staying with their, their families um, encouraging them to, um, you know, write phone numbers on their arms in case they do get kind of swept away. We have police uh, units everywhere so that we can, uh, you know, help them to find their way back to their families. And that's the, uh, their safety is, prob is our utmost importance besides the fun. Getting out there in front of the community, um, is this something... Uh, is this forcing you to get outside of your comfort zone a little oh, bit? Big, oh, big time. It is. Uh, just being here being here and doing a lot of radio uh, advertisements, cutting commercials and stuff that's not in our norm, of course. And, you you know, you think that you can't do anything until you sign on that dotted line and they tell you where to go and what to do, and, and you do it. So that's been, it's been great. I've learned a lot about myself, and <laughs> I've had fun doing it. What are you looking forward to the most this uh, parade season? I think I think just the excitement of representing the crew, um, meeting all sorts of people, new people, and then just talking about what we do, and you know, the, just about what we do, have and how much fun we do have. Uh, we're not just a fun organization; we do a lot of community service um, sponsored projects, and we are out and visible. And uh, just. Talk to me a little bit about this year's theme and what folks can expect. Oh, the our theme this year is awesome. Um, it's superheroes. And, of course, for, for the children's side of it, uh, we're going to have uh, Batman, Superman, Mr. Incredible. We have some really good characters there that are, are going to be appealing to the children. But our uh, theme is of superheroes. We're going to be represented by our military. And we are very, very excited about having that. We're going to be represented by six branches, uh, age ranging from 37 to 92. And uh, we we're, we're all excited about having them there. Well, Queen Ardita, thank you so much for joining me this morning. Thank you for yeah. having me. We, uh, we know you're going to have a busy, busy couple of weeks ahead of you, so thank you for taking some time this morning. Thank you very much. All right. We can uh, always have all of this information on our website. That's myarclamist.com. And, of course, this full interview there, including the new parade route. That's, uh, right. that's definitely something folks need to, need to pay attention to this year. All right. We'll be right